People let fear hold them back from being great because they're afraid of judgment from others. I knew what I was walking into. How did you get into all of this trailer? So it's a very long story that goes back to the Plano senior high days. I was sitting in, I believe it was history class and my teacher just so happened to be the uh, male cheerleader. He was the lead of that uh, organization. And he was like, hey, you look strong because all I did was work out. I used, I used to compete bodybuilding like way back in the day. I lost all my muscle mass already, but um, he saw that I was strong, so he thought. So he just pulled me out during a lecture. He was like, hey, I want you to throw this girl up. Her name is Candace. I'm like, hey, okay, hey, Candace, whatever. And she was tiny, so I grabbed her. I did a little stunt with her and all the cheerleaders were like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Because, and I later on came to understand that people want football players to be cheerleaders. And I never knew that. All the stunts I do with my daughter in our living room, those are called partner stunts or co-ed stunning. I was so excited to have a daughter. I'm like, ooh, I have a flyer. So like everybody knew once I had a daughter, I was gonna have like this little girl who's just gonna be flying around. Roland has a daughter, she's gonna be flying. He's gonna be throwing her up in diapers. She's been stunting ever since. I think her first stunt was four months old. She was just a little baby in diapers but she didn't know any better. Like, so since I've always had her on my hands since she was in Pampers, stunting is all she knows. And so it's just like another day in the life for her. But we've been stunting ever since she was four months. And it really started kicking off around January of last year, 2020. Yeah. What's your What's your motto? We gotta try again and what? Do it right. Try again and do it right. <laughs> I didn't mean to go viral. I didn't mean for the world to know about it because that's just what I did because I love spending time. I love stunting, but I have a daughter. There are more public eyes, you know, looking at us and just kind of you know, being cautious because she is so young and you want to protect her innocence. So it's fun though. You know, it's a little bit surreal. I think it's neat that we get to share a little bit you know, a little piece of our life that I feel is so normal because a lot of people ask me, Stephanie, how do you feel as a mom? Like your husband is chunking your daughter in the air left and right and she's doing all these things. And I think it helps that I did cheerleading in college because I understand it. I'm, you know, immersed in the world enough to know it's very much like a sport and just, you know, watching my daughter do cheerleading is just as if another mom was watching with their kiddos doing soccer or basketball or anything like that. So we had a video, it was right downstairs where I threw her up, just did some fun stunts. We were just, it was like a super easy stunt, but she was so happy. She was having so much fun because she finally could stand on daddy's hand and I could like pop her over, like she was having a blast. And then coach Monica from Navarro saw it and then commented. And then after a while, like, I think she shared or someone shared something and then everyone just started following me. So I had 5,000 followers in uh, January of last year. And then it went from 5,000 to 10K. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have 10K. I have the swipe up feature. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Like we're going viral. Like I need to just retire right now. Like, you know, so, uh, and then after a while, we just kept putting out more and more videos. Like if you put out one video and it only affects one person, the video was worth it. And it just so happened to be affecting a lot of people in a positive way. So we kept posting every single day. I would post a new video and everyone's like, oh my gosh, y'all are so cute. I love y'all, y'all. But then at the same time, Jaden kept getting more and more skills. And so she was like throwing full ups. I didn't think she was, she was four. You know, I never knew a four year old could do that type of stuff, but we just kept doing it. And the reason she got better, we kept stunting because people wanted to see it. And then more and more people kept sharing our videos. And then out of nowhere, like followers, followers, followers. And after the followers came, I realized that it's not always a good thing because people will give their unsolicited opinions and then kind of try to bring you down when you're trying to do something positive in the world. But going back to what I said earlier, I know how to block that stuff out. And personally, it didn't affect me for a while, but then it started to get to me whenever I started receiving hate messages. And that's the part about going viral that a lot of people don't know about, but it never stopped me from posting. But I did go through some times where I was like, hey, I really don't even want to be on social media because it can be such a dark place if you let it. Um, and I got to the point where I wasn't even reading my messages. I would get hundreds, thousands of messages a day just about, oh, you shouldn't be, you're going to drop her. I hope you drop her. I hope she's going to get like, what are you going to do when your daughter's paralyzed? Not knowing that I have 12 years of coaching experience, not knowing what partner stunting even is. You know what I mean? So I have to do, I still deal with that to this day, but I know how to handle it better. And the more you kind of ignore it, the more it starts to just kind of dissipate, just go away on its own. 
there are people out there who want to see me drop my daughter and I just like showing them that I'm never going to let her hit the ground. The biggest thing is that you have to choose to protect your own space and your mental space and um, I choose to know that we are good parents and we have nothing but the best interests you know at heart for her and you know if people want to say what they want to say they they're allowed to but you know I get to choose what I read. <laughs>